Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to get this nice clean finish on your metal barn gate. Now I'm using this on my residential home and it's really easy to set up but I did want to make it have that clean modern black finish. And so I have three tips to share about how I did this. Now first you want to make sure the surface is nice and clean before getting started. You want to get rid of any dirt and make sure that it's clean, no bird poop. <laughs> and before you get started. Second tip is use spray paint and individual can of paint. Now getting in these cracks and crevices area is difficult but can of spray paint really knocks it out and that's just across the board. Even for these areas here, this intersection here, it's difficult but with spray paint it's seamless and perfect. Now for these long surfaces here, you're going to use a roller. Now that roller will give you a nice, clean, even, seamless um, surface area coverage. That's really helpful and it really gives you that great coverage with the roller. Now for one more tip, stick around and find out. Now for the materials that I used, I used a can of spray paint, the liquid paint, and then also a foam roller, all in high gloss paint. Okay, before getting started, I'm going to go ahead and clean off the gate. Now, I have a stream right in front of my home, and so I'm going to just dip this rag in the water and then use that to wipe down the gate. Okay, now the surface is clean, I'm going to go ahead and apply my spray paint. Here I'm going to start with the tricky areas first, so right in the corners of the area and go ahead and apply the spray paint in the crevices. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove this warning sign so that we can get really good behind this area as well. Now for my third tip, be sure to put something on your eyes when using spray paint. Sunglasses in my case happens to be a fashion statement, but wearing safety goggles would be also fantastic to wear. <laughs> Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and use a roller and finish up with these larger um, surfaces. Um, by applying the roller to get that smooth, seamless finish.
All right, so now we're going to do the other side. Very similarly, I'm going to go ahead and take off the warning sign and then clean the surface behind it. So now that the surface is clean, I'm going to come in with my roller and go ahead and finish up this gate as well. Krista already started this before, and so I'm coming in with touch up and getting some of the spots that she left for me to finish up. Okay, hear me out on this. When I was applying the roller to the gate, I felt like a ballerina. It's a bit of a stretch, but I was holding this bar and as if it was the ballet bar, making these long strides, these long stretches and applying the paint. I'm gonna play some music, let me know what you think. I don't know about you, but I definitely felt the ballet energy. Let me know what you think in the comments. Otherwise, we're going to get back to the original show and finish up the gate. Okay, now this is next day. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together. 
we'll remove the tape and then put the arms, the gate arms back on the gate because now the paint is nice and dry. Okay, now we got some quality control happening. Krista's going to spot check and make sure that I didn't miss anything and come back and do a little bit of touch up. She also is wearing the sunglasses, not to be cool, or maybe a little bit to be cool, but mainly because the spray paint will get in your eye if it's a windy day, and in this case, it was needed. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Now you know how to paint a metal gate.